day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you ba back to Oxygen Not Included. It has certainly been a while since we've played this game, haven't we? And since the time that we last made a series on it, so many things have been added. Meeps. Uh, uh, what is it? Meeps relaxation update. The new sweepy bot. Mods. So needless to say, we've got lots of mods attached, and we want to see what these new updates are, and frankly, I just want to play this game, because I've missed this game, I like this game, you always used to like this game, and so we're gonna try and play this game. So who do we have with our, with our team? Well, to start off with, we have... Captain Elaine, that's a perfect name for you, and then we have, you need to be Professor something or other. We have Jenna the Evil. The Evil! So clearly we have a mad scientist in our midst. And then finally we have... <laughs> and then finally we have good old Chris, the Chosen One. And we're going to name this place The Gentleman's Spa. Because we're going to try and turn this into a nice place filled with relaxation. But you will note when I enter in this place, there will be a bit of a change looking about this place. You will immediately notice it's a lot darker, to say the least. And that's because I have installed what is called the Darkness Mod, where everything is darker, where everything is harder, because we need light in order to see and to work. So... Which is the quickest way to copper? Over here. So guys, let us begin with making sure your priorities are set so that only Jenna the Evil is doing any any researching. Then, Captain Elaine, you are in charge of building the base, mining out the base, and killing everything that comes in our way. Then good old Chris, the chosen one, will be up will be the chef will be the decorator, even though I, you don't have decorating, uh, will be the supplier, and will be the doctor. So go, everyone! And as you can see it here, dark, minus athletics, minus, minus three athletics, minus two in every other skill. So, uh, and then we got pitch black, minus five athletics, and minus three in every skill. So the question is, how do we solve this? Well, we need light to solve this. Plain and simple. Also guys, if you could focus this over here, we kinda need a toilet. Because the amount of times I've made the mistake of not making a toilet in time in this game, it's, it's getting a bit ridiculous. So I suppose I should have a brief look around while I can look around, assuming my config file actually works in turning this place entirely pitch black. And the answer is, I don't see very much of anything. So, so what, as you will tell, they can't really pick up very much. And that's because of the fact their strength is reduced as well. So one of the very first, most important skills you will easily tell is carrying capacity. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent! I have the toilet created before the end of the day. This is already a, an improvement from what my how I normally how I normally operate. Okay. If we could please start making this little base ready for Jenna the Evil to research all of our stuff, please. Because if anything, if we need anything. It's research. In addition, let's just open up this area so maybe the light bugs can come and say hi to us so that we may have some light. See? Isn't that look working very much? So, it's no longer dark. We have a lit work speed. Everything works so much nicer when, we're all when everything's lit up. Now then, the great question. What do we research first? And the answer is decor so we can get light. It certainly changes everything up a lot, does having this darkness mod. Another thing I've learned from playing this game is never mine oxalite. You've only got a limited amount of it, 
And in the end, if you mine it, that amount is halved. So make sure you never mine it. In addition, with this darkness mod, trap as many light bugs as you possibly can in a single area. Also, I love how big your name is, good old Chris the Chosen One. Right, you guys have nothing to do right now. No matter, we can fix that. We can tell you to go up there, do that, maybe even do that. It's basically, just start building yourselves a nice bedroom. As well as cut out the trees. Because trees are a very brilliant resource in this game. Were they in the game when I last played it? On the channel? Outside of a stream? I don't think they were. Really? You're so close to being a barracks, but it's a little bit too big. Also, did the Oxifern really have to be right above where I built the ladder? Really? Actually... Ooh. Ooh! That's an interesting way I could do things. Hmm. So, what are our goals with this place? Well, first up, we need to kind of explore for a start. And we need to do build things and other stuff. So, okay. So, first thing I'm going to do. This will not be our... our what I'm going to call it anymore. This will not be a bedroom. This is a temporary bedroom for what it will be. Because we have three lovely plants in here. All lovely and... Four plants in here, all lovely and growing. Which enables us to turn it into a nature reserve. Which is just such an easy sort... Easy bloody source of morale. Of course, we could also turn this into a nature reserve. From the looks of it, Oxifern will be one of our most important resources. Just like algae always is. If this oxalite could please consume itself so we can build poor Jenner the Evil a bed, please. Well, at least Jenner the Evil certainly has a lit workspace at the very least. Right now, we just need to go around, explore and try and find anything and everything. As well as, you know, maybe not unlock so many high spaces so that the oxygen just flows upwards. We kind of need to dig down first, even though digging down is the hard bit. There. We're currently in the process of building Jenna the Evil a workspace so that she can work in peace on her evil plan. A lovely, cute little pip. One of the most important creatures in the game, because it'll plant oxyferns for us. Okay. Hello, Blueprint. What are you offering me? You are offering me someone good at athletic? Someone who farts frequency, so no. You're offering me an arbor acorn. That's not a bad one, actually. But we've got plenty of trees as well. So I'll take the pipsqueak, little guy. Because isn't it just bloody adorable. Look at it. It's so cute. Okay. So, because this place is going to be the gentleman's spa, we need to work out what things we can use for this spa. Such as a beach chair. Such as a sun lamp. Such as a hot tub. I think we should aim for a hot tub. Even if it is on the medical side research path, which is one of the most useless. Uh, how much food do I have? Quite a bit at the moment. I don't normally allow, like you people eating meal lice, but given the current time and p position of the game right now, we don't ever really have much of a choice. How long are you available and how long until you get the ability to, you know, dig out granite? Not the longest amount of time. Not the longest. And you're almost able to get advanced research. Which is what you need in order to actually be able to research the advanced stuff. Hmm. So what are you meant to do if you've run out of... You know... 
Well, actually, no, you get ex you can get, what am I call it, experience from doing more than just research. What am I thinking? Excellent, the research lab has been created, meaning we can now dig up that and start working towards a hot tub. Jenna the Evil! What, tell me how to make a hot tub, please. I would so much love to see one available within my place. In the meanwhile, we might as well fill up that space by building another jumbo battery. After all, less time spent running around on that generator is just more time spent actually doing your jobs, which is what we like to see you doing. So it definitely looks like the config file is not working, because everything should definitely be, be pitch black by now. But no matter! It will not stop us at any rate. Now if we could uproot those myth leaves and put them in here, please. And actually, quite frankly, I should just make another bedroom right above, right above you guys already, shouldn't I? Because we're going to need one eventually. And Jenna does need a place to sleep, so it would be nice for her if we just went ahead and built one already. Jenna the Evil! You will level up soon, and then once you do, you will be able to use this supercomputer. Which is what we need you to do in order to give us what we're looking for. Captain Elaine has now learned hard digging, meaning she can now dig through granite. Allowing us to see whatever the hell is on all these sides. And Jenna the Evil has now got advanced research, meaning she can now learn how to use the supercomputer, which we need water for. Which we can get over here. Or quite frankly, just here. If we're gonna turn this into a resort, this place into a spa, some sort of resort, we need the best kind of facilities. The best kind of things. We need a, a beautiful kitchen. We need a lovely resort. A beautiful kitchen. A magnificent dining hall. Art decorating the walls for all that for all to see. But those things will take time. Captain Elaine, if I could ask you to build that door so we don't get a light bug stu stuck in the bedroom. Please. Because if there's one thing we know we don't want, it's a light bug disrupting sleep. Which it can do from its position anyway. God damn it. And there we go, a pitch up pump. Excellent. And now we can get all the water that we need in order to, you know, explore. But first, Captain Elaine must go forth and provide us with vision as to what may come over in this section over here. The facility's looking good. I mean, the toilets could be better, but and we're gonna need somewhere to dump that, that, what am I call it, polluted stuff. Yeah, that should work. Ah, uh, having one person with supplying this early in the game is such a useful thing, especially when we can't actually see anything on. Well, especially when everyone's working so slowly most of the time. But now, there's nothing generating oxygen around here, is there? You know, besides oxyferns. And oxyferns aren't the best at it. They're decent, but they're not the best at it. Ah, but now we have ourselves another little duplicate, I'm sure, right? Right? Uh, what are you? Athletics? That's, that's a terrible skill. Bonus strength? That's not bad. Excavation. Uh, excavation is... We've already got an excavator. But your agriculture, which is very nice to see. But briar seeds would also be kind of nice just to plant in our bedrooms. Hmm. Extra person. Decoration. Extra person. Decoration. 
I'm gonna go with the decoration, because athletics is literally the worst interest in the game. How are we doing over here, Captain? There's a lot of stuff over here. We still haven't found a new biome. By the way, this is a modded world. As in, what's on it. And what's in it. But I swear I could have sh sworn I picked the small version. Let's just check. I don't think I picked the small version. Or maybe I did and we're just... Did I get miscalculated... Miscalculated pod location? I spent like... Okay, in my defense, I spent like a good half an hour just trying to get the mods to work. So I wasn't exactly paying attention to what... What am I call it? There were... Traits that were available. So for all I know, there's gonna be ma there's gonna be volcanoes and magma channels all over the place in this in this world. Oh God forbid! Please don't let me t tell me I random those. Oh look a hatch! Now isn't that a fun little thing? Hatches are one of the most well, they're a useful little pet. They have their purpose at the very least. All right, so if that's the very edge of the map over here. What the hell is in this direction? Right, we have our storage room, that's good to see. We have our bedrooms filled with their lovely plants. Excellent to see. Things are going along nicely. Slowly, due to the fact we're in pitch darkness, but nicely. Main thing we're missing is a proper bathroom. Also, how are you doing? Wow, you've almost done it. Huh. Well, I'll just leave you to your work, Jenna the Evil! But please get along with it fast. I need to slowly picture where the heck I'm going to build everything. For example, this will be our nature reserve, or at least one of them. We could also build another one here, and that's probably not the worst idea. And then we can have bedrooms over here. Yes, that's right. To get to your bedrooms, you must pass through the nature reserve. Such is only natural. What is everyone's morale? Hmm, three, you say. Grizzly meal, poor decor, barracks, two, di two break shift, and the fact you exist. All right, all right. And that decor must be improved. How's the air? The air's going bad. Okay. Let's break the mini battery. Excellent. Let us build the the, uh, the oxygen diffuser. Because I don't care what anyone says, I prefer the oxygen diffuser over the algae terrarium. Because it doesn't require water. And from the looks of it, we got plenty of algae around here too. Oh, you've done it, Jenna the Evil! Right, okay. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Hot tub. Requires pipes to and from the tub to run the jets. T water must be a comfortable temperature and will and will cool rapidly. I see. It requires wood. It requires a form of metal. Let's see then. Effects, but it cr creates heat. Gives plus five morale. Overheats at 37.7 degrees. That's a little high. Do I know what temperature it output? Oh, wow, that's a big building. Huh. Alright. Water must be a comfortable temperature and will cool rapidly. Does that mean I can use the hot tub for water cooling? Well, you've built us a hot tub. Next, we need to figure out... Plumbing for said hot tub. Yes, that seems like a really good idea. Do you really want to be eating in the muck, in the muck farm, Jenna? The Sorry, Jenna the Evil. Have to say it correctly every time. Hmm. Why are you all so germy? Mostly this. Where's disinfect? 
There it is. Disinfect building, disinfect building. Disinfect, disinfect, disinfect. Disinfect. Okay. Okay. I get it. I need to set up a bathroom. Like an actual proper bathroom. I understand that. I'm sure I can. Maybe. But in order to set that up, you need to learn sanitation. You've already done that, so I don't have an excuse. God damn it! Okay. So. I need to set up a bathroom. Bathrooms are normally set. I need to look at whoever's gonna come. Greetings! How are all of you? Ren there. You look amazing. Some. Oh, wait, no, you're a gourmet. That's actually the, one of the, the worst traits in the game. Ren, did you have to be a gourmet? Gourmet. I know it says it's a positive trait, but it's not. Like, you see that food morale bonus, negative one, it says. Yeah, that's not negative one morale like I thought I, it was. It's negative one quality of food. So, the top tier quality is considered the second top tier quality. Meaning that your ability to get, you know, f morale from food is significantly reduced. Unlike no taste, which is cons which is the exact opposite, making it one of the best traits in the game. Either way, though, you all suck, so I'm getting the water. Is it too much to ask to have one useful new friend? And we're here, we see good old Chris, the chosen one, just simply taking out the, the rubbish by cleaning up the bedrooms. Good old, good man, good chap. Good old Chris, the Chosen One, has been affected by food poisoning. Well, that's unfortunate, chap. Or at least our little hip friend is doing his job. And making sure to plant oxyphones where they can be used. And at the bottom of the map as well, meaning they're going to be useful there. This is why pips are so grand. It really is. Excellent. We've built ourselves a nice little bathroom area, meaning we can r throw this one out for the coal, out to the wolves. Captain Elaine, if you could please make the right buildings. Or, you know, level up so that we can give you supplying already. How close are you? Ages away. Of course you're ages away. At least now, with the new and proper bathroom, everyone should at least be getting a little bit more well, so to say. But I'm afraid it is now beginning to be that time where I must demand the creation of a hot tub. I said this is gonna be a spar and a goddamn spar it will be! We just need to build a bunch of things. Ah, you're done with your research. This game needs to tell me better that it's done with my research. It's research. I mean, I know there's an entire whatamacallit attached to it with a big sound effect, but it doesn't mean I always hear it. Where is it? There it is. Water sieve. If we want a bathroom, we're gonna need a water sieve. There. We have the beginnings of our spa. Our glorious spa. But what else does a glorious spa need? It needs light. So light it shall have. How much power does a hot tub need? 240. That's actually not really that much. Still just digging over here, are you, Jenna? Well, we can already see the neutronium, so... Not really much to be said about that. Ah, but we get to a... What am I call it over here? A sea biome. That's good to know, I suppose. Ah, a food shortage. I might want a kitchen. We need a kitchen. Mean Because if you're a spa, you of course need to feed the customers. So one of the very first thing, most important things we need to do is build that spa. We are low on food. And that is not the best situation to be in. Especially because we can't mine that up as we need it. So, what kind of food options do we have available to us? 
we have some mule lice running all over the place, which is quite nice. Guys, you know you can build, right? Like, I understand supplying and, you know, dumping everything about is your most important objective, good old Chris the Chosen One. But Jenna the Evil! You have no excuse. Who do we get this time? Uh, can't any of you actually be good. I mean, you're alright, Gosmond, but not as good as a miner's jacket. Which Captain Elaine can activate in order to make sure she has the best quality possible. And there we go. Good old Chris the Chosen One, please get to cooking. And yes, I will set your priority, number one priority, to cooking. We have bonus skills. What skills are they? We have you, able to do something. Well, let's make you carry. So you can build better. Because I don't need you digging out up as a light yet. Because you still need to build my hot tub! I really don't want you guys eating mush bars. So good old Chris the Chosen One, if you could please level up. Quickly. Besides, the fact I'd left the oxygen as long as it did is bad. You're almost there, Ch Chris the Chosen One. Now what I need to do is find a volcano. Preferably a gold one. But just some form of metal one. Because metal looks nice. Metal is decorative. And with decoration, everyone is a lot happier. Skill point earned. That's good. brilliant to hear. Good old Chris, the chosen one. Get cooking. People are hungry. After all. I mean, look at that. They've got two and a half days left of life in them. Your captain only has two. If someone could please supply the, you know, the t the thing building oxygen with the thing that can build it can use to build oxygen, please. Some of the mods I have installed, you may think a lot of the stuff I have installed might be overpowered or help me with my thing. At least if you don't think that, you might in the future. But just, but a lot of them are just for convenient quality of life updates. Like the fact when they leave to go to breathe, they don't drop what they're holding. Which I consider to be one of the most required things in the game. Also, no one should eat meal lice. No one should eat mush bars. Only, only mush fry they should eat. Guys, I seriously wasn't joking when I spoke about filling up the diffuser. You know, we do need the algae. We do have algae. It's not like we don't have any of it. And you filled it up now? Okay, that's good. Just making sure. Is a mush fry still a terrible meal? No, it's morale zero. Well, that's that's not the worst then, I suppose. We need another human. I think that's our biggest lacking resource right now. A lack of human. The problem is, is there's not any good humans. We need good humans. Because good humans are best humans. Insignificant resources, bleach stone. Huh? Where the hell does it mention bleach stone in there? Why is that cropping up now? It should tell me in here that it requires bleach stone. Do you have any idea how much of an annoying thing bleach stone is? Alright, well, we've got a nature reserve in here now. 
And we can end with getting a new human! A new human! The best kind of human! Someone with plus seven husbandry! Which is literally the only way you want to get a character with husbandry, because it's impossible to level up. So welcome to the team, Hassan! You shall be our farmer for now. But don't worry, things will get better. Well, now that we've learned that, we better learn husbandry. Is there a poke shell in there? Yes, there is. I couldn't see you. Where are you? There you are. Is there only one? No, there's three of them. Poke shells are one of those things I haven't decided whether they're useful or not yet. Yeah, I forgot you mess up with all of our stuff, don't you, Mr. Pip? Alright, yes, priorities. Uh, Hassan, you have a priority top with ranching and a little bit with agriculture. I know we don't have any agriculture yet, but bear with us, we're working on it. We're not working on it, I haven't even given it thought yet. So, considering it looks like our hot tub is an absolute bust. Missing a decor item. What do you f- what the bloody heck do you consider a bl Do you consider a lamp if not a decor item? Hold on, you turn that back on. The main problem I have with the darkness mod is it doesn't make entirely much sense about what is considered dark. For instance, I believe it's considered dark if it's below 1,000 lux. So you literally have to have the light right above your head, like there, in order to gain the benefit of it not being dark. Which I think is a little ridiculous. And no, a lamp doesn't count as a decor item. That's stupid. Well, we've almost completed our, pu our pump to give us a hot tub. Even if we don't have any bleach stone for said hot tub. So, I guess we need to find bleach stone. Don't we? Well. What other options do we have? Mechanical surfboard. A beach chair. Figuring out a food source. That's probably a key one. How big was all, how big was my far, was my design for farms? Oh, perfect! It can fit right there, right outside the kitchen. That just works out perfectly. So what we need to do next, as a priority, is. Build ourselves... We need to build ourselves a goddamn farm. And probably a place to ranch hatches. Because hatches are a decent source of meat. Not the best source of meat. If we want a good, a really good source of meat, we're going to need shovels. And a good thing we can eventually... We can potentially get shovels eventually out of what am I call it? Care packages. Three eggs. Those three eggs will be the best eggs we can get. Where is a geyser? We still haven't got ourselves a geyser yet. And those are the kind of things we love to see. We might also want to go algae hunting. You finished researching. Excellent. Well, next thing you can finish researching is that. Ranching, animal control, then gourmet, me, gourmet, gourmet, fancy cooking stuff. So you can build us a gas range so that we can build it in the kitchen just so we know where to build, build it. You know, thinking about it, I don't know if light stacks. So for instance, if we build a lamp there, whether because it's both 900, that spot there, whether it'll up it up itself 
into what am I calling? 1800. Basically, just lights stack on top of each other for qu for quality of light, and the answer should logically be yes, but it's not hard to say. Actually, I suppose we can do it by looking at the light bulbs, can't we? Oh, it does. Oh. So that's how you deal with darkness debuffs. You put two lamps next to each other. Huh. All right. We really, really need to set ourselves up a, a farm. You in a lit? You're no longer dark. Okay, so the lark is dim there and dim there, but 100% there. Meaning that that spot there is where you work from on that thing, which makes sense. So, if I remember rightly, the gas range is 300. Or 3x3. Three three, meaning I should build it there. That place there will be 900. So if we then build ourselves another lamp right. If I do that, would that work? Yeah, that should work. If I then do that, I can build that. Which thus means I can then do that. And we can start making a farm over here. And actually, it works out quite nicely as well. Because if I do that... I can bi thus build the farm station right there, so it's not taking over any bad things. And also, new friend! Who do we have today? We have... Actually, didn't I used to say a certain phrase whenever I summoned one person? It's time for a new employee! Greetings to the gentleman spa. Are any of you worth my time? Wow, I can't believe I'd forgotten all about that line up until this point. And the answer is, no, you're not. So I'll take the little shine nymph. Because it's more light. So we have the beginnings of a farm in a surprisingly really good position. And I, the most biggest problem we have at the moment is food. Which is why we're building a farm. And beyond that, I can't really think of any problems. Apart from maybe algae, which there is stuff of it around, which I should go digging for. Like here. But beyond that, yeah. Well, everyone. I think this is a good place to start off uh, to end our first episode with the Gentleman's Spa. Because who the bloody heck knows what's going to happen in this place? I certainly don't. You know, Power Fox, if you start an outro, at least do the credit of finishing it. Yeah? Yeah. So, everyone, good place to end the episode today. So, everyone, it looks like I'm all out of time for today's episode. So, give me, a, give me tips. What do you think I should do with the Gentleman's Spa? And where do you think I should try and build things? So, everyone, it looks like I'm afraid that, until the next time, it's time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.